resource packs slash texture packs for Minecraft 1.19.1. We're going to show you exactly how to download them and install them in this video. Now, first things first, we need to actually download a few different texture packs. In the description down below, this second link down below, we have this list. This is 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.19, and as you can see here, they are all laid out so you can easily click on exactly where you want to go. For example, John Smith Legacy here. Let's go ahead and grab that one. We can also come up here and grab something like Epic Adventures. Boom, there we go. And then last but not least, I want to grab Sfax Pure BD Craft because why not grab a more cartoon pack? I've opened all these in a new tab, but if you click on them, it will open right like so. And then once you've done that, you can download them. Specifically, you can download them by going to the download button on these pages. So for John Smith Legacy, just click here, and it will take you to the official John Smith Legacy download page, where you want to make sure you're downloading the Minecraft Java Edition version. It is worth noting that there's not a major change between Minecraft 1.19 and 1.19.1. That means any 1.19.1 pack will work in Minecraft 1.19.1 without any issues. John Smith Legacy is no exception. Click on the download button here and it will down the bottom left. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Moving over to Epic Adventures, same thing. Scroll down, click on the download Epic Adventures button, and that will take us off to Curse Forge. We want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, and click on the orange download button here. It's okay, it's 119 because it will work in 1191. While this is downloading, how about ask for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DOS protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex. Minecraft hosting. And at Apex, you'll find 24-hour, 7-day week support, so should you have an issue, they can help you out. And they have over 200 mod packs with one-click installation. So go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, Epic Adventures has now downloaded in the bottom left, and there's one more pack to download. That's Fax Pure BD Craft, so when you're here, scroll down and click the yellow download button. That will take us off to Pure BD Craft's official website, where we want to scroll down, select the 119 version, but there is no 119 version. There's only 118, and the the reason we want to do that is because I want to show you what a 118 pack will look like in 1.19.1. And unless you can select the uh, resolution that you want here, or do you want 5.12 or 16x. 16x is going to be a lot less resource intensive than 512. 512 can nuke your computer if you don't have a good one. Nevertheless, we're going to click download there. We'll download with an ad, which means after we accept terms of use here, we have to sit for 15 seconds until the download begins. Once the 15 seconds is up here, we can click on the download button and SPACs will download. There it is in the bottom left. Now, if we minimize our browser, I recommend moving all of these to your desktop just because it's easier to do that, right? Once they're on your desktop, it's super easy to add them to Minecraft. So from here, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this does work on Windows 11. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder. And in here, you'll find Pure Craft, Epic Adventures, and John Smith Legacy. So drag and drop these to our desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop, we need to open up Minecraft 1.19.1. So let's do that. So boom, Minecraft, and then we're going to open up latest release 1.19.1. This will work with mods. This will work with, you know, anything you want when it comes to resource packs. They'll work with it. They're just kind of very versatile in that regard here. So boom, play latest release 1.19.1. We'll see you in-game to get these resource packs installed. Here we are in the Minecraft main menu. From here, click on Options, and then click on Resource Packs. Again, that was from the main menu. Click Options and Resource Packs. Then we can click the Open Pack folder in the bottom left. That's going to open up the resource packs folder right like so, where we can take and drag and drop any resource pack that you want to install right here into this resource packs folder. As you can see in the background, boom, these all appear here. Now, Epic Adventures and John Smith Legacy being default 119 packs just work. So we can just go ahead, click the arrow on John Smith Legacy, click done, and then Minecraft's going to reload and it's going to have this pack installed as you can see. Now, let's go ahead and jump into single player. I will show you though what to do about, for example, Pure BD Craft, where it uh, is Having some problems, right? It was red. It kind of looked like it wasn't supposed to be there. Well, I'll show you how to fix that here. But nevertheless, here we are in game. I don't like this uh, location. So let's TP to. We'll TP to spawn on this world. I honestly forgot uh, what spawn looked like on this world. But nevertheless, the John Smith Legacy resource pack is installed. But uh, what about? Other packs. What about Spax PVD Craft? Well, in that case, let's go ahead and hit Escape, go into Options, Resource Packs, and you can change your resource pack right in game. So we can hover over this, click the arrow to move it out of Selected to Available, and then let's do PVD Craft. So click on the arrow there, we get this warning. It's made for older versions of Minecraft. Well, 118 packs will work in 1.19.1 without much of any issue. So if we click Yes here, click Done, it will reload, and Spax PVD Craft will be installed. Let's get to some land though. So here we are, we have found a land. One thing I want to show you though is, for example, stuff is not 
change if it's from 1.19. For example, LA, they just have default textures, right? It's just default texture when you're using Sfax Pure Craft. However, if we go ahead and add in Epic Adventures, so if we go into Resource Packs, Epic Adventures here, click this little check mark. That's because uh, Pure BD Craft changed it. And we move this over here. We can actually run these together. So if we take Epic Adventures, click this little arrow and move it below Pure BD Craft and click Done, all of Pure BD Craft's textures will stay. However, any 1.19 textures like the LA will be different. As you can see, the LA is changed when you are running this. This is from Epic Adventures. Everything else is from Spax. If we want to go ahead and click Options, Resource Packs, Remove, Spax Pure BD Craft, click Done, then all of Epic Adventures textures will take over, which as we can see, look like so. Look at that, awesome stuff. So there you go, that's how you can add in texture packs and resource packs to Minecraft 1.19.1. And again, it is worth noting that resource packs can be stacked. You can install older resource packs. I wouldn't go before 1.18 though. 1.18 packs will work pretty much perfectly fine. I've never found one that doesn't work. However, other packs might not, so just keep that in mind. I like the LA texture in John Smith's Legacy. <laughs> That's a really good one. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. And be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.